Kelly Batucci, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. How are you all? It's all happening. I hope you've all been well. When you jump in, say hello so that I know technology is working and everything is okay. Good to see you here. It has been busy. So busy. Always busy, right? We're always crazy busy. So we head off to the US on Monday because <laughs> that's what we do around here. So we have been creating frantically, I think I've made, I don't know, 10 cards this week, which is super exciting because I didn't think I would get as much done as what I have, but I have, which is really good. And we also had our holiday catalog delivery come. Oh, how exciting. So I'm going to show you that today. And I'm trying something very new. So I will put the link up. I'm literally in the middle of creating it. That's Kylie flying by the seat of her pants. I'm just creating the sign up form as we speak. <laughs> it's like, quick. I literally just filmed a video before this one because I wanted to try something a little new. Are you ready for the announcement? I'm really excited about this idea. I love trying new things. We've got to keep mixing things up, right? So what I'm doing is a free online class. A free class, yes. Video class. Now you saw the card that I made this week using Steffi Helmscott's amazing inspired card. Um, so I'm very excited about this stamp set. You'll see it in the next couple of weeks. I literally, I've made so many cards using this set. Even the shaker card. I made a shaker card, people. This is a big deal. But anyway, I have done a class on this, showing you some really cool techniques using the blends, how to make those hearts look like they're popping out of the, the card. So if you would like to, to gain access to my free online class, then you can sign up. I will give you the link right now because I literally just press save. <laughs> I'm like, quick, Kylie, get it done. <laughs> get it done. I feel I was filming five minutes before I went live because that's how Kylie rolls. It's how I get things done, right? Uh, Kylie's free online class. So you can share the link with all of your friends um, using, what did I use? The Modern Heart stamp set. I'll update that a little bit later. <laughs> I think it's rude to be typing while I'm talking to you, don't you think? Rude! But I want to get this link for you. It looks a bit bare, so just, just excuse that. And we don't need your address and we don't need your last name. I'll let you, I'll let you off the hook on those ones. Because I think we're going to have people from all around. Actually, we'll put country. I want to know what country you're from. That'll be exciting. Because that's the, the best thing about Stampin' Up! Is that we're from all around the world. And if you haven't got my card templates, please make sure you get them. Because they will help you with this online class. In fact... They will help you with more than this online class. They will help you in crafting, full stop. There's some people that have said that they got my templates. They didn't think they needed them. And they got them and they're like, they're the best thing ever. I'm telling you, it's so good. You will not be disappointed. And if you're disappointed, I'll refund you. Simples. So don't stress. I'll look after you. If you find that they're not something that you're utilizing or something that's for you. But I'm, I'm that confident that I think you'll find that you'll love it. Chop it. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's looking very happy. I've got country in there as well. Country. Okay. I love doing all this stuff. It's so fun. Hello, everyone. Randy's here. Oh, I'm so glad, Stacy. Stacy loves the templates. They really are so cool. 
I, I am just, especially when I do um, like my tutorial bundle and things like that, I do one set using the measurements that I'm used to. And then I'm like, oh, just go to my templates and do the conversion. And then I know the other measurement. And it's so good. It saves so much time. It used to take me probably a good hour and a half to do the other, like the US sizes. But now I'm like, couple of minutes, done. So if you do, if you make tutorials and you want to make them global, that's, that's another option, but it will also help you with your creativity too. You can see the layers and it's really good. So what else is new for all of you? What's been happening? Tell me everything. Hello everyone, Sandra just said. I cannot believe we leave for the US on Monday. And Jessie's coming with us, everyone. <laughs> I'm so excited for her. She's really excited too. She's like, oh, I'm coming with you this time. Good morning, Ka Christina. I was about to say Katrina. Sorry, Christina. So here is our link for our free online course. It's the first time I've done one. So what will happen is once I get off this live, I will upload the video. It will be a private video on YouTube so no one else will see it. You will have to sign up to see it. Oh, Pam got another BBB. Big brown box came her way. So it is the only way to see the video to this card here and get my tips. Oh, Scotland. So I am very, very excited about this idea. Jessie, party. Jessie's here, everyone. Give a love. You know, we were in the city Tuesday and guess what Jessie saw walk past her. Oh my goodness, it was so funny. Someone was wearing tassel shoes. Seriously, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. They were so Korean. Korean, no, no, no. <laughs> they were really funny shoes. Jessie's like, oh, quick, I've got a video of the shoes. <laughs> she was running after him. Poor guy. He's probably like, um, why are you stalking me? No, he's probably like, yeah, that's how good these shoes are. They're like gorgeous tassel shoes. <laughs> so what else do I need to show you? Oh, let's get the box out. Oh, with all these goodies. Yay! I love new goodies. And I love my big brown box coming. Hey! <laughs> Brand new products. <laughs> Let the fun begin. I will admit something. I have, I wish, I wish like car wash tassels. They were like car wash tassels. They were even the same, um, the same feeling as car wash tassels. <laughs> what? A man around town carrying the giant carrot. I haven't. Otherwise, we would have put that on Instagram too, Maria. <laughs> we, we stalk all the giant. <laughs> Kathy, we are heading to St. Louis. Even though this, the song is St. Louis, apparently it's St. Louis. And then we go to New York City. Times Square, here we come. Times Square is not going to know what's hit it. <laughs> so, yes, we're going with Jesse. Jesse's staying a little bit longer, but... We're meeting up with friends and just having a really nice trip. So that'll be really good. Yes. <laughs> now, one thing I will preempt with you is that I've been a bit naughty and I've used some of the stuff already. I know you'll forgive me. Um, but I'm not showing you the cards just yet. They're coming very soon in one of my blog hops that's coming up. The Greek Isles blog hop. Sharon has asked... Should I join Stamping Up? What can everyone tell Sharon? you got to tag Sharon. Who here has joined Stamping Up? And what have you got to tell Sharon? <laughs> Randy. Yes! <laughs> Randy actually is in Canada and she found my videos and I helped her out to find a really cool demonstrator in Canada. And so she ended up joining with Alison ok Okamitsu. Yes! Yes, it's so good being a demonstrator because I just received my very first order from you, a Wink of Stella brush. Susan, it's so good. Wink of Stella is one of my favorites. 
Yeah, look, Anita, definitely. <laughs> Kathy, do you know how many times we've been to New York now? This will be our fourth time in New York. We love that city. Yes. Hello, Sandra Mastello. Hi, Deborah. Oh, have a great time, Deborah. I've heard it's amazing as always. Yep, Sharon, you won't regret it. So one of the things that is really good about being a demonstrator, firstly, at the moment, there's a special. So I'm not sure what country you're from, Sharon, but in Australia, we get $111 for, of product for free. And you can even add the holiday catalog items into your kit. So it's a really good special at the moment. The other thing that's really cool is that as a demonstrator, you get to pre-order things earlier than everyone else. So we can order the holiday catalog items now, but also if you join now, you'll be able to order the occasions catalog items earlier as well. You get to order them in December instead of January. And you know what else? There's an on-stage event coming up in November. You get to go, because you only get to go if you're a demonstrator. So it's really exciting. It's really good being a demonstrator. And don't stress, like some people freak out. They're like, oh, but isn't there a minimum? And what if I don't meet the minimum? Well, what happens if you don't meet the minimum is we send the Stampin' Up! police. Yeah. And you get into so much trouble. Not. Nothing happens. You just come back as a customer. All that happens is you miss out on your 20% discount. And that's fine if you can't meet the minimum. Oh, good. You'll get six months of 20% off. Sweet. Who doesn't want that? Oh, hi, Kayla. Kayla's in my team and she's rocking it. She's a superstar. She's a superstar recruiter because she just shares what she loves with other people. That's why she's doing well. <laughs> Randy likes that. Now, I will preempt that we don't celebrate Christmas. Some of you probably already know this. If you have questions about it, you can ask me. It is for religious reasons. I know that sounds strange, but it is. And yes, we do believe in Jesus. Some people are like, oh, you don't believe in Jesus. Yes, we do. Uh, but we don't celebrate Christmas. So that makes holiday catalog time quite interesting for us. But what I noticed, and you can see by the box, is there's a lot of things that are non-Christmas. So what will happen during the Christmas period for us? Because some people have actually messaged me saying, what do you do during holiday catalog time if you don't celebrate Christmas? That's like, how are you, what are you gonna make? Well, the best thing is, is we are gonna focus on the annual catalog, but there's demonstrators all around the world who will be doing the Christmas thing. So go and check out their blogs, check out Pinterest. You are going to have so many amazing ideas out there. Um, so what we will do is we will be your non-Christmas people. We'll be your refreshing non-red green people. <laughs> so, and um, Andrea asked a question, do you have Halloween in Australia? We do, and it is sort of getting a little bit more um, prominent. However, Brie and I don't do Halloween either. So, yeah, we don't do any major holiday events. No birthdays, no Christmas, and no Halloween. So it's quite random for us because we are, uh, at the moment, number one in Australia. <laughs> and we don't celebrate major events. So don't ever look at something and think, oh, there's no way I can like make this successful because of this or this reason. I think it probably would be a pretty good thing. Like some people would say, there's no way you'll be successful if you don't celebrate major holidays or major events. But we've proved otherwise. So if you have questions about that, I'm not gonna talk about it for long, but just so you know why there's no Christmas items in my box. So this is all the non-Christmas things. Sharon asked, how do I join and what's the outlay? $169 if you live in Australia, Sharon. And the outlay, yes, the $169, there's no postage. And the way that you join is by clicking on the link that I'll share if you live in Australia. If you don't live in Australia, just message me and I can give you lots of options of people that you can talk to. 
I just tried to open the page and it didn't work. Anyway, I'll start with this beautiful paper. It will work in a moment, Sharon, and I'll put the link up for you. So this one here, I've looked at the catalogue and gone, what can I use? Even though some of it looks a little bit Christmassy or it might be like Thanksgiving type stuff, I know for me I'll be able to do, because here in um, Melbourne we have autumn uh, so we have beautiful autumn leaves that fall. So that's perfect for us to use. Oh, there you go. Ah, Kayla's got lots of questions. Good PM me. <laughs> I can send you the link. Because <laughs> honestly, I get, I, I can't explain it as succinctly as our website does. But yes, we do, we do have information about things because it is quite intriguing. Some people are like, what? What? You don't celebrate Christmas? That's so weird. Yeah, I understand. I haven't always been uh, a Jehovah's Witness, so to a lot of people it is very strange. So you're in Scotland, Sharon. All right, PM me, Sharon, and I will give you information as to who you can join in with Scotland. Yeah, that would be someone in the UK. So the amount would be different, but I will give you that. Oh, I'm so happy, Barb. That's really good. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the Feels Like Frost Specialty Designer Series paper. Now, we all know I love to love it, chop it. And I know that it can be a little bit confusing for some who now have finally got used to cutting their 12 by 12 and now it's a 6 by 6 But I do have a video this on the chair I do have a video showing you how to utilize your six by six and I do have a card coming up to show you how to do that as well so the cool thing about this beautiful beautiful paper and it it actually is very cruel of stamping up to do this like really really unfair this is the first time that both sides are as gorgeous as one another <laughs> it's really hard to decide so but the best thing is you do get a number you get four sheets so maybe what you'll have to do is do two papers one side and two papers the other look how beautiful that paper is look how beautiful that paper is both sides are just as beautiful as the other so or another option might be, okay, this pack I'm using this side. The next pack I'm using the silver side. So I give you permission to get two packs because <laughs> you're going to need it. I, I got two packs because I knew, I knew that it's too hard to decide. So this is the silver side. So you've got those stripes. You've got the snowflakes. You've got... Some beautiful leaves there <gasps> so pretty honestly this paper I know this paper is absolutely unbelievable look at this <gasps> so pretty more snowflakes almost like flowers <gasps> look at this one even oh my goodness it is so pretty and then we've got these what you had me at silver foil. And it's like paper, but silver foil. That's the cool thing about it. It's not thick. So, hi Kylie. Hi Rachel. Good, yes, this definitely needs to be on your pre-order list. And remember, if you join Stamping Up, you can add this paper to your starter kit. Your starter kit is fully customizable. Drool! I know drool seriously so that is the silver side yes silver and did I show you that one silver okay now this is the other side are you ready for it it's just as beautiful it's so devastating <laughs> look at that the beautiful snow that's on there and then we've got this one here gorgeous four sheets of each pretty it's so pretty it's making me want to cry it's so pretty and the best thing is that stamping up have found a way 
to not only use this photography, but it actually matches with our colors, which is just so amazing that you, I can look at this and I know that I could use like Rococo Rose with this and that it's going to be okay. It will match. That's a really difficult thing to do. Yay, Jamie. That's good. Yes, I'll keep you company. You know me. I love to have a good chat. Have a good yarn. <laughs> Remember, keep signing up for my class. I'm seeing people sign up, which is really exciting. I'll just make sure that it's... I'll put the link again for you. I don't know why that... Is it typing? Yeah. For some reason, it's decided not to load the comments anymore. Don't you love technology? Seriously, I love it when it works. When it doesn't, I hate its guts. <laughs> oh, that way. So pretty. So gorgeous. You're going to have so much fun with this paper, I'm telling you. And if you're not part of my Love It Chop It group, you must join because Love It Chop It will help you to use up your paper. No more hoarding. Don't look at this and go, ah, it's too beautiful to cut. No, it's so beautiful you need to cut it. You need to use it. Because if it sits on the shelf, it's not doing anyone any favours then. page is so pretty it's so gorgeous look at that snow we saw our first bit of snow falling from the sky just recently it was so stunning look at that and this one here is the one that I used on my card so you will see that coming up in the next couple of weeks it's while we're away because I wanted to get ahead Oh, yes, I'll get the link for you, Elaine. For some reason, it decided to shut down. Hopefully, this time it works. I've done a restart. Have you turned it off and on? So, there you go. That is the Feels Like Frost designer series paper. And that is definitely going to be a must-have on your list. You must, must, must get that. And I'll put the Love It Shop It link as well. Uh, love it chop it group so you can sign up for the love it chop it group because in there it has details on how to use your six by six paper in a very simple easy way none of this one sheet wonder one sheet wonder works for some people I'm totally not against that but oh that's a good idea Jesse but um, oh, I don't know if I can pin it here I don't know why it's not letting me. I need you to go in as admin, Jessie. <laughs> I should actually add Jessie as admin. She's not even on there. Bruno's on there. But Bruno's out at the moment. Yeah. And then the other one is my class. So where did I have the class link? There it is. Got it. Hopefully that works for you. But I will post it afterwards, so don't stress. You'll you'll still get the sign up afterwards. Okay, let's look at stamps. What stamps did I get? So these are the ones that really hit me. Nature's Beauty is one of them. Now, the reason why this was such a must-have item for me, I don't normally get the artist-type stamp sets. Firstly, I wanted to challenge myself because I'm like, what, how am I going to use this? <laughs> yes, that's exactly who I'm copying, Vicky. <laughs> it's from the IT crowd. <laughs> Have you turned it off and on? Is it plugged in? <laughs> and do you know how well it works? It works every time. Have you turned it off and on? Even people, that they're like, oh, my phone is... Have you turned it off and on? Just remember that line and technology is your best friend forever. <laughs> so this one here, uh, I want to get the holiday catalogue for you. Where did I? I think the holiday catalogue's gone for a little walk somewhere. Oh, that's all right. I've got a pack here. Ah, got a pack of them. 
Brilliant. I'll just use one of the ones I'm sending out for you guys. And if you want a catalogue, I have sent an email out yesterday to all of my customers, my loyal customers. Um, and I'll put it, holy cat, uh, that one. Yes. So you can sign up for the holiday catalogue there. We'll have a little preview. Ah, why did it have free online class? That's a bit weird. I know what's happened. Oh no. My free online class, instead of replicating, I've got over the top. <laughs> that was a bit silly. But that's all right. The people that have signed up for the catalog will get the free. <laughs> Seriously, this is why you should not do two things at once. <laughs> That's all right. I, I pretty much know who's requested a catalogue, so I'll just have to move them to the holiday catalogue list now. <laughs> Seriously, this brain of mine, I work too quickly. Then I get myself into trouble. Breathe, Kylie, breathe. Oh, that's good, Shauna. So I can't show you inside the catalog, but I will read this to you. But this one here is Be a Difference Maker. So the exciting thing about the Be a Difference Maker is for every one of these stamps sold in Australia, Stampin' Up! are going to be doing $4.25 for mental health. They're putting that towards mental health. So that is really, really exciting. So please... Look out for this one because it's going to support mental health in your country, every single country. And it may not, it's not like a, a specific mental health organization because each country has a different one. But I'm very excited to try this. And I thought of you, Jesse. Jesse just got two bunnies, everyone. <laughs> two little bunnies. Isn't that the cutest? I know you're going to love it, Jesse. I'm going to do little bunnies for you. Two little bunnies. So that's that one. This one here I thought was really good because of the amazing leaf here. I'm not really a pumpkin, but I'm, I'm, I'm not a pumpkin. Well, I'm not a pumpkin, but I'm not a pumpkin girl. But this one here and this one here, I will definitely use those images. And there was a really cool um, thinlet set that goes with it. And I was like, oh, I totally need the bundle. So that is the bundle that I got. And I cannot wait to use these beautiful leaves here. Because it embosses and cuts as well. Yep. And then this one here can get cut out by this one here. So I'm very excited about that bundle. That's the Gather Together bundle. Yes. Now Harvest Hallows, this apple here is super, super cute. Perfect for teacher's gifts. I've got the apple punch already and that is in the catalogue as well. So, and it does the pumpkin as well. Yeah, so it's really, really cute, that one. Look out for that. Now we've got this from your house, from our house to yours. I thought this is a really sweet set. These little um, trees and the little houses. And there's some super, super cute um, little sentiments on here. Our hearts are next door. Neighbours, from our house to yours. Friends, family. I love the friends, family. I'll be using that quite a bit. But yeah, these cute little leaves and houses. I was like, yep, I can do something with that. I'm going to have a lot of fun. The other thing that was cool were with, with these amazing... I was so happy to see this back again. But the... Um, I think they call it the curvy box. Curvy treat box. Mini curvy keepsakes box. Very excited to see that back again. And that is going to be really, really cute. Like, yeah, the sweetest little thing. So I will probably put like little um, lollies in there or candy as you guys say. So that will be really fun to do. Yay! Now, if you need help getting your little tab back in, just make sure that your thinlets are not this side. First of all, I put them this side and I show them. But you just want to do like an ice cream scoop. So you scoop it in and then it closes. It's a little bit tricky at first, but you will get the knack of it. Just keep practicing. 
Uh, now this one here, I'm just gonna flip, I should have flipped this around to show the name as well. I'll have to do that on every one now so that I can see, although Jessie did label my last ones, which was good. So this is the beautiful bows, balls, bows. I always forget how to say that word. Anyway, really cute, cute leafy set. <laughs> and I love that it's got these sentiments. I can never have enough of those. Yes, I did see the one that Wurgy made. It's so cute. It's the tiniest little box, but it's really cute. Like tote adorbs. Now I'm going to replicate. Let's have a look here. Ooh, we got some more signups. Yay! Thank you for signing up for the um, holiday catalog. I mean, the class, everyone. But remember, you can sign up afterwards too. You don't have to leave. You can do it after the fact. I'll even send a, a newsletter with details on it. I'm just making sure I get the right people in the right list. <laughs> Kylie Batucci. She's so naughty. Anyway, I'll figure it out. At the moment I'm doing I've got a mashup of a few people. <laughs> All good. Everyone's happy. <laughs> I'm just like, you are so crazy, Kylie Batucci. Seriously. I'm so silly. I always make problems for myself. But you gotta laugh at yourself, right? You gotta go. Oh, you silly belly. You're such a silly belly. And that's okay. Now, trio. This one here, I'm quite interested in the fact that they're joined. So I think what I might do is cut them out and then afterwards I might slice them so that I can use each one. It'd be really cool if I had some like metal scissors. I'd probably cut them myself. I'll f I might find a way to do that. Because I think they're really cute on their own. Frozen? Is it frozen for anyone else? Take a bow for your last performance. <laughs> Totes of daubs. <laughs> now this one I thought was very sweet. It's the Winter Neat Knit Embossing Folder. And I know for a lot of you it's probably Christmassy. But straight away I just thought of a, a jumper. Um, if you don't know what a jumper is in Australia, that's like a sweater, I think you call it. Hey, <laughs> that's my friend you're talking about. Yeah, I tell Jessie off when she calls herself. Yeah, but this is legit. I'm a lot. I didn't call myself an idiot. It's when you guys call yourself idiots, I don't like it. I'm like, no, don't say that about my friend. <laughs> well, that's it there. How beautiful is that? It's going to be so gorgeous it reminds me of cross stitch to embroidery now i'm really excited about this one so much so that i've already pulled it out of the packet and don't have the name but that's okay i'll find it in the catalog because i'm really really excited that they've done this i've been asking for more of these for a long time so they're called basic pattern decorative masks are you ready for it <gasps> Boom! Check it out. I'm going to put paper behind it so that you can see it properly. Where's some cardstock? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yes. Now, there's a few ways you can use these masks. So, we have the amazing embossing paste. You can have white embossing paste, which you can colour, which is gorgeous to use the embossing paste. And do I have some here? Yes. So you can colour that and add that on. So I put the Glad Wrap on just so that it seals it really well. Um, you can also use... Do they still have the metallic paste? I haven't even checked that lately. I'll have a look and see if they've got metallic paste because that would be gorgeous with this. I think at the moment it's just the um, white embossing paste that's back. But you could use it with sponging as well. So if you used the daubers, then that would work. Uh, white. Ah, oh, shimmery white. Okay. So they're the two. White and shimmery white. 
So keep an eye out for them. And then you can use your um, ink refill. Now that we've got some metallic inks, which you may have seen in the holiday catalog, and there's refill, just saying you might be able to add the refill to your white embossing paste and make your own metallic um, paste. How gorgeous would that be? Bronze. <gasps> just saying, if you think of, if you use it, just just thank me later. <laughs> yes, <laughs> shimmer, but not silver. So but now, add a bit of ink refill from the metallics because you've got the three metallics. Got bronze. We've got golden glitz, and we've got what was the third one? Oh, hey, there it is. Celestial copper. So there's gold, copper, and silver. Oh, so good. And yeah, add, add the reinkers to your embossing paste and use that. Get your little palette knife. There's this one here. So cool. I cannot wait to use these. They're going to be so good. This one. So amazing. Aren't they the best? And hello, dots are the bomb. Can never have enough of these. So these are really, really great addi addition to the holiday catalog. You may have missed them because they're not a standout, but I think they are going to be really popular. And in Australia, they are $10 for those. So they're a really great gift as well to your team members or to a customer. Cheap postage because they're super light. Highly recommend this as a gift. I think it's the best. It's the bomb. Now, what else do I have in here? What other goodies? I've got some punches here because they are so adorable. Totally going to be using them. That cute little leaf. Awesome. We've got some new stamping glitter. Yes. Thank you, glitter. So that's going to be exciting. Now, how did they use the glitter in here? I think they poured it on top of uh, where is the glitter page because there's also the um, the white puff too yeah I'm not sure how you adhere it oh yeah, there it is snowflake accents puff paint that's the other one but I still haven't found the... So the puff paint's on page 19. I've got the puff paint. Anyway, I'll have a look for the, the glitter and let you know what it has in the catalogue. But it's going to be a lot of fun. <gasps> Is that it? No. I feel like I keep flipping to the same pages. <laughs> yes! Jessie loves glitter. She really does. Now, remember, I also got some really cool things from uh, our trip. Oh, there it is. Ice stamp and glitter. Add glitz to any project with this glitter that looks like snow and ice crystals. Adhere with shimmery crystal effects or the fine tip glue pen. I hope I got the shimmery. <gasps> yeah, there it is. Shimmery crystal crystal effects or the fine tip glue pen so do you know how excited i am to have this back again yes shimmery crystal effects thank you stamping up i have missed crystal effects so much people have been using the fine tip glue pen but i much prefer have this so if you want to adhere your beautiful glitter to your project then you just layer a bit of this and then pour this on top and it will adhere or your fine tip glue pen so there you go that's how you do that and this is just subtle sparkle but that will be really nice so um before you used to be able to yes crystal effects is back jesse <laughs> it's an excitement let's have a party about crystal effects being back um so I used to have, have an image and then we'd put the crystal effects over the top. So say, for instance, the apple that we looked at, 
how cute would that be stamped and then over the top you put your crystal effects so that it becomes like a shiny apple that's what you want to use that for the apple wants wants crystal effects on top it is the best I really it has been years since we've had crystal effects and I missed it so much now I also got some ribbons that I will be able to totally utilize this one here is come together ribbon pack look how beautiful that ribbon is I'm such a fan of that and then this gorgeous one here it's almost like a terracotta tile thread yes anything earthy autumn yes uh, Christina asked a good question. How is it different to Wink of Stella? So Wink of Stella is like a wash of glitter, but this is a gel. So it becomes very, yes, like a resin, Jesse. That's a very good one. Yes. So that's the difference. It's like thick and yeah, it's really cool. You're going to love playing with the crystal effects. Uh, this one here is the Scalloped Edge Ribbon in black. Really pretty ribbon. Absolutely adore that. And I'm going to be using that for a lot of my, like even underneath, you can have that scallop edge look. So it looks like even cardstock, like you won't even think that it's ribbon because it's sort of layered underneath and gives it like a scallop edge look. So that would be really nice even if you did it in black with black cardstock and then have that peeking out underneath very nice uh, what's this one here we have got some double stitched ribbon so let me undo this one because I am such a green girl love 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 green and I knew that I was going to utilize that because that's just a really cool ribbon do you like how it's in my eyes? <laughs> Hi, Barb. Good to see you. And that's that. Now we have... Oh, yeah. And this one here. I saw this ribbon and I was like, yes, please. So hot right now. Look at that. <gasps> look at it. And look how thick it is. So this is called Rouged Ribbon. Real Red Rouged Ribbon. Yes. Thank you for the rouged ribbon. Hi, Kirsten. Good to see you. What else have I got in this box here? Ooh, what's this one? Maybe that other one. Oh, my goodness. I was showing you the wrong thing. Okay, sorry. Take this back. This is the shimmery crystal effects. Okay, so it comes in like a pen. So that's the crystal effects. This one that I was showing you is actually the snow puff. So this one here, the reason why I got this, um, because we don't really have snow here, I probably won't be creating things with snow, but it will be a really cool little effect. Um, and I've got a card coming up where I wanted like little white dots on the card, just for like a little, even like a space look, bit of interest on black, like a little embellishment. And I thought this will be perfect for that. So I'll be able to use dot around some um, white, but it will stay white because I used um, the white craft ink and just put that on with my uh, aqua pen. And very quickly, it's sort of the color fades and it doesn't have that real pop of white. And then I'm like, oh, maybe I can like emboss like little dots, like get my Versamic mark refill and then emboss the little dotties. And I'm like, that's just too much work. I'm like, forget that. And then I saw this and I'm like, that's exactly what I need. That's perfect. So I'll just be able to do little dots of embellishments and yeah, I'm sure it'll show up and it'll be quite, yeah defined and a nice white color which will stay so i'm very excited about that so yeah that's that's the crystal effects there and oh there's something down here to some more paper didn't know about that one all right good we'll come back to that i love this opening day unboxing day so much fun this one is the tags and feathers elements i love anything uh, feathers you had me at feather 
And when the feather is actually wood, I'm really excited about these because you can colour these as well, remember, because it's on this ply. It, um, it grabs the colour really well too. So that's them there. And you can see that it's got like a white layer. So that will grab the colour even more and change the depth of colour to the tone. So it's going to be really beautiful to use those elements. We've got this one here. This one here. The wood. How cool is that? The texture of that. I think that will go really, really nicely um, with this set here. I can see that being used sort of in conjunction with those. Uh, yeah, all wood, 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 wood. Good. We've got a few of those. So I'd probably even use some crumb cake. Um, yeah, something like that. Hopefully it's not freezing for anyone else. And I found some more ribbon. This is metallic ribbon. So I'll show you this one. Gorgeous. Dazzle, dazzle. Shimmery, shimmery. So that will be really nice using that. And we've got some of these galvanized clips. I can see Bruno getting into these. He's going to love them. Yes, galvanized clips. So I'll open that up and show you them. So that's it there. I'll do it like what they do with the ad. The, the, <laughs> the what is it? Beauty videos now. <laughs> Did I do it right, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> Give up your day job, Kylie. Don't do beauty videos. <laughs> now, these are really cool, these ones here. I'm going to have a lot of fun with these. So, these are mini boxes, out like our pizza boxes. However, they're gold. Bling! Bling, bling, bling. Jesse, are you dying right now? Got bullion. I just robbed a bank. How cool are they? <laughs> Hi, Fred Evertucci. Good to see you. Do you like my gold bullion? Just robbed a bank. <laughs> I knew you'd like that one, Jesse. And one more pack of paper, although there was other packs of paper that you may have seen that I got from the incentive trip. Uh, I think that this is the, yes, here we go. Oh, and there is one other thin lips pack I want to show you that's from the holiday catalog that I won. Now this paper here is called uh, Brightly Gleaming. Oh yes. Anything that shimmers with a bit of copper in it, thank you very much. But you wait till you see the back. <gasps> so pretty. Look, perfect. There's like a masculine look to it as well. Oh, yes. Check that out. I love this paper. <gasps> Stampin' Up, you and your paper is just so good. So you need to join Love It, Chop It, I'm telling you. Look at this paper! Oh, so beautiful. Hi, Debbie! Look at it, and look at the back. That's the back of it. So good. Again, it's going to be really hard to choose, even though there's a glimmery side, the other side's just as pretty. Stampin' Up! You're making it too hard for us. Look at those stars, it's perfect for kids cards. Like it totally does not have to be anything to do with Christmas. I love this design, but are you ready for the back? I love the back design as well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy two packs of this. I only bought one. Who was, who was I kidding? Look at that. <gasps> Look at that. Yes. This one is called Brightly Gleaming. So you're gonna definitely wanna get two packs of that. Because it's going to be really, really hard. 
I think my favorite sheet in that pack is this one. Look at it. I'm totally gonna love it, chop it. This pack is totally gonna be loved chopped. I'm chopping the whole lot and making 72 cards out of it. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna check and see if I've got the other Finlands here. Because I wanna show you them because they're really, really beautiful. And you will not notice them because they're actually in the Halloween section on the catalog, but they have nothing to do with Halloween. So I'm not too sure why they're in there, but I don't want you to miss them. No, it's not those ones. I'll get the exact name for you. No, it's not those. Me, I've got so many new dies here because there's all the annual catalog dies as well. Looks like your jams. Stitch lace. No, it wasn't that one. I'll get the actual name maybe. It might help me find them. No, not wiggly bugs. No. What's this one? <gasps> yes, found it. I found it. It's called Ornate Frames. Ooh, the frames. Yes, that's right. Randy, I've already used them. Look, I've got some black stuck in there. So yes, look out for them. Ornate frames, they are called. And they are found on page. They are so gorgeous. I keep using them all the time because they're so perfect for sentiments. Uh, no, not that way. Oh, yeah, there they are. I think I found them. Yes, 53, page 53. So look out for them. Ornate frames dies. Gorgeous. So, yeah, there you go. That's my loot. But I had a few embossing folders and things like that that we received on the trip, like the stylish scroll embossing folder. I got the apple punch. That can be a pumpkin punch. Um... We've got some paper, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the unboxing today. And if you have any questions about any of the products that I've shown you, please let me know. And remember that you can join at the moment and add any of these items into your starter kit because the starter kit is fully customizable. Fully customizable means you can choose whatever you want. Some people think that it's still like a set kit. No. Even though we call it a starter kit, it really is a starter spend. <laughs> a starter spend. We spend it on whatever you want. <laughs> because, yeah, the kit is completely what you want to make it. And whatever you want to add to it. So that's good. I'm glad you like those, Pam. Hello, Debbie. Good to see you. I know it's so beautiful. There's so many beautiful things. And I'm just really excited that there's so much that we will be able to use despite not celebrating Christmas. So that's been a really good thing for us. But for those of you that do celebrate Christmas, uh, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> You've got a lot of extra things to add. <laughs> so have a great time with the catalog. I will pop up a link for everything, the online class, the holiday catalog link, and I'll make sure that they're the right ones. And also, what was the other thing that I put up for you? Oh, the Love It Chop It class, the Love It Chop It workshop. So make sure you join that because there's so many beautiful papers in this catalogue. You're going to need all the help you can get. And we shall see you very soon. I've got videos coming. We've got lots of things happening at the moment on our blog. So definitely head over to our blog as well. I'll put the link up for that because we have a lot of inspiration coming. Yes, I've got that right, haven't I, Pam? You're in trouble. You need to rob a bank. So, yeah, definitely think about joining to get the 20% off and to get the $111 of free product here in Australia. I have a goal, so hopefully you can help me with our goal. Our team, I'm aiming the team, the full team, to get 50 new team members. But my goal this month is to get 15. That's my goal. I'm saying it. <gasps> so scary. But already we've had six join, so that's really exciting. There's only nine more team members that I'm looking for. 
and they can be any type of person, whether you want to build a business or whether you just want to sign up for the discount, it's totally fine. You will not be under any pressure. However, if you do want to start a business, we have a lot of support, a lot of help, a lot of training and yeah, you'll love it. You'll get a lot of um, extra things, uh, blogging training, MailChimp training, and all of it is for free for my team members. So we would love to help you. Thank you, Pam. Thank you. Oh, you're so cute. Come to the New York. Thank you. We're going to enjoy our trip. We will put up uh, videos and photos as we usually do because we love you guys coming with us. And um, yeah, we're going to have a really great time. We're going for one of our international conventions for Jehovah's Witnesses. So it's going to be pretty epic because they know how to look after us. <laughs> So we're going to be like crying, thank you, because they're just, yeah, they're, already it's overwhelming what they're doing for us. So we're going on a riverboat cruise and down the Missouri River, and we're going to be seeing lots of amazing things and catching up with all of our friends over there. Some we haven't met before, but they're already our friends, so we're really looking forward to that. And then we're meeting up with other friends in New York, so it's just going to be epic, amazing trip. Thank you all very much. We're going to St. Louis first off, and then we're going to New York City. Two weeks, but you'll still see some videos popping up, and yeah, you won't miss us too much. <laughs> it is awesome, although we're kind of looking forward to staying at home for a little while after this. <laughs> we're, we're like, are we really traveling again? What are we doing? Are we crazy? This is what happens when you don't have kids, right? <laughs> you can just go, okay, bye. And Jasper and Bella, our doggies, are staying with Bruno's mum and dad. So we have very good babysitters. They're in good hands. Yeah. So have a wonderful week, everyone. You won't see us here live for the next two weeks. However, I will have videos. So definitely follow us um, on YouTube because we will have videos there and I will keep you up to date. Make sure you signed up for our newsletter and I will have updates on there as well. Um, and just, yeah, head over to our blog, follow our blog by um, subscribing. Um, so yeah, now I want to order everything. I understand, Kerry. There's a lot of nice things. <laughs> um, Bruno Shorts, story about Bruno Shorts, his amazing red and white striped shorts they ripped. He's very sad. But I think he's going to get his mum to mend them uh, so that he can wear them again. Because he was very sad about that. You're three hours from St. Louis, Amy. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, we'll be very close to you, Amy. Thank you. So have a wonderful week. We shall see you very soon. And I will pop up all of those links ASAP. And... I would love you to sign up for my newsletter because then you'll definitely make sure you get all the information you need as well. Bye, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your support. Mwah. Bye. If you enjoyed this, make sure you're following me. Come over to my blog and I'm on Insta, YouTube and more.